All right, welcome everybody to the 30th episode of Selling Cars at Garani Corp Garage. And today we have something very nice and special. This particular automobile is called the Honda Acti SDX. And uh, it is in truly remarkable condition. Very nice, very nice shape. On the way here, uh, I'm the operator. We stopped by at the uh, uh, Starbucks and there was a gentleman waiting for us outside who thought and uh, it took quite a while to convince him otherwise that this automobile is new, right? When I told him it's 30 years old, he could not believe us. Uh, but uh, let's continue with our typical uh, walk around. Um, we're going to walk around, drive by, drive off, drive by, brake check. And today uh, we're not going to do our usual uh, test drive on the street because uh, we have new equipment for filming videos and we do not have a very good quality suction cup uh, to install on the uh, window uh, so the camera shakes uh, that's why um, we didn't post the last couple of videos yet uh, of the previously sold cars but uh, once that's taken care of we'll continue with our uh, uh, test drive on the street which will be in the next episode all right so um, first things first um, this is a round headlight four-wheel drive five-speed Honda uh, most of the time uh, they're either one of the those three things but pretty much never combined so round headlight five-speed not your typical four uh, five-speed four-wheel drive Acti SDX um, people ask for this specific automobile all the time at least me um, and uh, they inquire and they want something like this so uh, pretty much everything that was uh, unscrewable from this car um, uh, was powder coated sandblasted and powder coated at this very nice company, uh, very professional here in Orlando. They call Glory Sandblasting. They do very, very good job. Um, another thing we did: uh, hot cured polyurea on the front bumper and um, in the rear bed or on the rear bed. Uh, the reason for that is uh, it is 30 years old at the end of the day, and um, the plastics get faded. You know it gets faded and uh, you know it has a little scratchy scratchy here and there so a uh, very nice finish kind of rough finish you can actually touch stuff with that bumper and nothing's gonna happen to it and uh, I'd like to uh, specifically clear or clarify that this is not some crap that you buy from your local auto parts store water based in the can this is actually pretty expensive hot cured polyurea and in order to do the bumper it had to be done had to be primed and had to be sprayed from the outside and from the inside so um, it is a solid shell so it wouldn't start peeling from plastics years down the road from the inside uh, I had a little dent uh, just a slight little dent and we had to repaint just the front fascia from here to here as you can see paint matches perfectly uh, my paint guy is actually very good. He's old, but he's amazing. So from here to here it's been repainted and that is the only piece of paint work that is on this car. So continuing uh, towards this way, we'll also see uh, beautiful uh, wheels that were redone in a color called uh, No Smudge Silver. Um, it's a beautiful metallic finish. It's ultra fine metallic. Uh, right now, as you can see, it's a little darker, but once the sun hits it, it brightens up. Uh, original brand new OEM caps. Uh, this is not some. Um, uh, uh, this is not some uh, thirty-year-old uh, rusted caps, but brand new, uh, freshly made Honda caps and uh, lug nuts. Both. Um, quite a lot of uh, trim pieces went into uh, this automobile like this rubber bump stops and rubber bump bump stops on the side of the gate right here uh, all around the bed uh, plastic pieces and rubber pieces behind the turn signals 
all that stuff is new you know it was ordered from Japan it was ordered from Honda and um, this is why people thinking that this is a 2017-18 car when in fact it is an antique this car is antique and by Florida law you can put an antique plate for it so uh, the bed liner finish is amazing um, as we uh, all know uh, this trucks uh, become a flat bed uh, wink of an eye um, you can actually this thing is over six feet so you can sleep in here and as you can see plenty of room right so um, it would be very nice uh, cool idea to have a couple of seats removable seats and a little canopy right and uh, use it as a beach truck that would be super sweet um, in fact uh, I sold some automobiles to individuals who live or have houses on the beach and they uh, really really love it uh, the hinges latches were also powder coated as well uh, this is not some cheap spray paint um, fresh powder it's so good you cannot I mean it'll take a hammer to take it off all the um, all the little hardware stuff was zinc plated uh, brackets uh, this is powdered as well brand new tires the the actual rim is powder coated as well black we powder coated it black so uh, uh, the spare it, it's it's done on Mercedes that way um, the spare is different color uh, this way um, you would always know that it's a spare you know give you more uh, motivation to put your nice wheel back so uh, the, the spare is black the other ones is no smudge silver um, everything's super nice um, most or all the hardware that came out was replaced for stainless steel um, just super nice quality mud flaps everything's super clean uh, the rubber bump stops again these bump stops are new um, as you can see in the pictures, the uh, gloss that this car has, I mean, it tricks people into thinking that this automobile is new. And again, <clears throat> uh, all original paintwork except the small part on the front. So uh, walking around towards this way, um, talking about imperfections. You now it is a 30 year old car. And it didn't undergo nut and bolt restoration. Uh, something like that would be very expensive if something needs to be completely disassembled and then reassembled back. So uh, you can say maybe a mild cosmetic reconditioning restoration, but uh, with a very good attention to detail. Nevertheless, it does have a little scratch that was touched up. It's right here. Uh, you'll pretty much never be able to see it. And a couple of small things, more or less, that you know, in order for it to be fixed, you would have to start spraying the panels. And you know, I don't really like paint work that much, uh, or using paint when it's not needed. All right, when it comes to the cab, everything is very nice and clean. Uh, pedals are new um, steering wheel is super nice it's not worn it still has the texture you know how sometimes plastic steering wheels they just nicely slick uh, that means it's just been span and span and span all over you know it's pretty used and that tells you idea about the mileage that the car underwent but uh, shifts are super nice uh, very uh, good shifting uh, in my opinion, it is uh, the best. That's my Bose speaker, you know, guys, the ones I've been talking about. Yep, that's the music that you want to listen to in your GDM Honda. Uh, but um, um, in my opinion, Honda has the best shifter. Um, right next to Subaru, they take the first place. Uh, it's just amazing. I mean, it shifts so good. Um, it really shifts well but uh, cranks up real quick so uh, just make sure you're neutral check this out right so the key position on and up and when
factory radio done by Clarion, uh, in very good shape. Um, I would never change that out to some aftermarket stuff. Uh, very nice, authentic uh, truck. Has a little little cigarette burn uh, right here, but not through. Just just vinyl's been slightly touched up. But as you can see, overall, Japanese people do smoke a lot. Uh, not like in America when uh, only one out of ten smokes in the United States Where in Japan it's probably vice versa, but uh, um, Little carpet uh, we did aftermarket carpet um, uh, Something here locally um, Nothing fancy just to give a little nice touch as well uh, seats are super clean everything works runs good cranks up good new fuel filter new honda air filter uh new oil in tranny mobile one synthetic in engine and new uh, oil in front differential 7590 front rear um honda genuine filter again before we used to use generic that just fits but this time we use the honda so if you would look underneath you will see a brand new honda fuel filter uh, same as the air filter and well, of course oil filter as well uh, so let's talk about CV joints and half shafts um, when we bought this car it had a bearing noise uh, in the quest of uh, finding that noise all four bearings were replaced for uh, genuine Japanese bearings. I think the company that makes them, uh, I won't be able to remember, but uh, if you ask me uh, in the comments, I'll find it in the receipts. So uh, we thought it was the front bearing, you know, you, you drive it and you do like this with the steering wheel and you see how it loads and unloads and you try to figure out. So we replaced the front bearings at the same time, rebuild two front <coughs> CV joints, uh, re-greased them, repacked them, replaced them. seals for the Honda, all right, Honda Genuine seals, uh, boots, the boots that I mean. Um, the disappointment was rather large uh, when I drove the car and uh, the noise was still there. So uh, then we went a little advanced and at the end of the day figure out where it was coming it was uh, rear left so um, both rear bearings were replaced and the uh, half shafts were uh, re disassembled re-greased repacked put brand new Honda genuine boots and put it all back in place so uh, drives on brand new bearings everything works uh, all this works the heater works or the blower lights work uh, let's talk about the mileage uh, 58,000 kilometers uh, original uh, kilometers and uh, we'll show the proof of mileage to the um, buyer once uh, he or she completes the transaction so the mileage is uh, original and real um, the hood liner is super nice, very clean. Everything works, uh, not broken, not sagging. These guys usually sag because they made out of, uh, you know, sushi, I guess, dry sushi, seaweed and rice. Uh, so over time, they just collapse, and destroy, and they sag. Nothing, no sagging here. Maybe just super minor beginning, but you know, most of the time is nothing in there. But um, other than that, glass is in very good shape. Um, again, for being 30 years old, this is super nice. Uh, it's super nice. So um, I'm not sure what else we can talk about. Um, everything is uh, as described. Um, one of them, definitely one of the uh, nicest trucks if one of the nicest trucks that uh, we prepared and sold here at Granny Corp. Um, super nice, rare, very rare, hard to come by. So uh, 
on the lowers this is your chance to get a super nice super nice truck or not on the lowers in general you know but honda is cool everybody knows that uh, um, especially older hondas and um, um, I think this is going to uh, conclude our uh, walk around and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, do uh, drive off, drive by and brake check and that will, uh, and the final review and that will con conclude our today's video. Again, um, let's say 10 inches, and uh, my height is, uh, I think, 5'11", something like that. So I feel alright. I feel alright. If you're very, uh, well, the operator is uh, over six feet. He fits. He fits. He might be have uh, three, four inches, but at the end of the day, uh, I mean, of leg room, but you know, at the end of the day, he fits. So uh, let's do a Honda quick start. This particular model is uh, not a 660cc, it's a 550. So uh, the 660s, they went out when they uh, did the square lights. Um, so this one's 550, don't forget it's 89. They only made this for a limited amount of time. It was kind of a transition model to the square headlights. But uh, it accelerates very well. Um, even uh, with two heavy guys, uh, up front, uh, we're able to reach uh, modern traffic speeds without really any problems. Um, perfect for somebody who wants something nice, uh, even for a daily drive. I mean, if you have to commute within town, within city limits, like downtown, it's, it's perfect. I mean, it's super nice. Uh, ideally, it would be very nice if it ends up in some enthusiast hands, you know, it's not going to end up on a construction. That would be something very nice because uh, this automobile is uh, definitely show worthy and uh, a piece to be proud of. Um, and I think this is going to conclude our uh, review. Uh, stay safe and all this car needs is a new proud owner.